Hey everyone, Stephen from Straight Fire Picks. We got best bets for NBA on Thursday, November 17th, 2022. We're going to have NBA player props, spreads, over-unders, money lines here for you today. We're going to have two picks today that I think are great value bets for this Thursday NBA slate. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support here on the channel. If you're new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 7,000 subscribers. Reminder here at the channel, guys, that we are partnered with Price Picks, so be sure to use our code SFP for a 100% deposit match and your first deposit up to $100 on Price Picks. You can also use one of our links that we have down below in the comment section and description. Really is a great app, guys. It specializes in player props and things of that nature. You put multiple picks into an entry to win a lot of money, and it really is a lot of fun to use. Like I said, use our code SFP for that 100% deposit match or one of our links that we have down below in the comment section and the description. Be sure to also check out our community Discord page as well. Great place to connect with our community and to get new ideas for bets. We'll also have a link in the comment section and description for that. Be sure to also drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section. If you like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. And we'll include your pick in the video if it hits. Okay guys, now it is time for a shout out to our Straight Fire MVPs. So as always, you see this beautiful list here running beside me of all of our Straight Fire MVPs. If you're interested in becoming a Straight Fire MVP, there's a join button down below. We'll also have a link in the comment section and description for that. Great way to support the channel and what we do here at the channel. It's just $3.99 per month. You get access to our picks early, a badge next to your name, some custom emojis, roll card in the Discord, and shoutouts in our video. And like I said, it is just a great way to support what we do here at the channel. Um, like I said, the best thing is probably getting access to the picks early. So whenever I'm done with the research, I post up the notes in our community tab for our Straight Fire MVPs. So... Just another little perk that you can get. Like I said, just a great way to support us. I do appreciate all of you here at the channel. You guys absolutely rock. Let's uh, let's get after today. Let's tap into the results from the previous episode. So from yesterday, guys, we had three plays. We ended up going one and two. It was such an unlucky day on one of our play. <coughs> um, excuse me. On one of our plays. Uh, we did end up cashing the Oklahoma City Thunder plus four and a half spread uh, versus the Wizards. They were able to cover and actually win that game. SGA hit the game winning three, uh, so we love to see that. Uh, great game there from the Thunder. They always fight for your money. I love betting on the Thunder. Um, then we messed on LaMelo Ball, over five and a half rebounds. This one I'll say was just a bad read. Um, he ended up with one rebound. He wasn't even close, uh, so that was disappointing. And that uh, Clay Thompson, under 17 and a half points. This 100% should have hit. The way that we lost this is honestly, I know I've probably said it before, but this was the worst beat that I think I've ever had. Um, he had 12 points with about a minute left, and the Warriors were down by about 20 points. So Steve Kerr had pulled pretty much everyone off the floor except for Clay Thompson. I don't know why that was, honestly. It's kind of a weird thing to do with a guy that's torn his Achilles in the past. Like, why you're playing him in garbage minutes like that? I have no idea. Sure enough, Clay Thompson actually got fouled, uh, a flagrant foul assessed. Uh, well, he, he, got, he was the victim of a flagrant foul after that. And they still didn't take him out. And I was like, this is really weird. It's kind of strange that you wouldn't take a player that's had a couple of serious injuries off the floor in garbage time when it doesn't mean anything. And, of course, he ends up hitting a three. He gets to 17 after the two free throws. Final possession of the game, he gets fouled again. Um, and he goes to the line, sinks two free throws to finish with 19 points over, uh, over our line of 17 and a half. So it's absolutely disgusting, guys. I've never experienced anything like that. And honestly, it felt fixed. I don't want to say it is fixed, but it certainly felt that way. So uh, we're going to get back after today. We're going to leave that in the past. We're going to get this little 2-0 sweep here. So let's get after it today, guys. Let's bounce back. So let's get right into our picks here. At number one, we are going with Jeremy Grant. Over two and a half threes here for the Portland Trailblazers. Plus 128 odds here on Bat Rivers. Guys, I absolutely love this bet. I uh, love the plus value on this bet. I think this is also a decent ladder look. Uh, just based on what Grant has done here lately and the matchup. The Nets here allowing the third most threes in the NBA, so they have not been defending the three-point line well at all. Um, Nets also allowing the tenth most threes to forwards, uh, which Grant, you know, small forward, power forward, um, playing right now more of power forward, uh, obviously with Josh Hart on the floor there. Nets allowing the sixth most threes to small forwards, 19th most to power forwards. Normally your power forwards don't shoot threes, though, so I think that's one of those things where it's like, I think Grant more fits the bill of you know, a small forward as far as shooting the basketball. Uh, he's put up a lot of attempts here over his last four games. 
He's averaging over eight three-point attempts over his last four games, which I like to see that. He's finished well above this line in his last four overall uh, with logs of five, four, five, and six for me threes. He's been absolutely on fire from three-point range. And at home here, I like him at home to continue this trend. Um, like I said, he's been absolutely fantastic. And then that's defense. We saw him just give up 153 points the other night to the Kings. Uh, they have not been playing very good at all. Uh, they're, they're terrible defensively. They're 22nd in defensive efficiency. They've been absolutely horrible. Like I said, the ladder look here on Grant I think is great. Uh, him to make four threes is plus 320. Him to make five threes is plus 750. So definitely worth, worth a little bit of a sprinkle there. Or if you want to go for some type of crazy parlay. Um, it's definitely not a bad look. I think, um, you know, Grant's line is still a little bit undervalued right now. Uh, just because he's starting, you don't, you don't usually see this kind of thing from Jeremy Grant, honestly. Um, he's not, in his career, he hasn't been like the most prolific three-point shooter. But he's really showing the ability now, right? I mean, he's shooting the ball terrific. He's not just making threes. He's shooting a very, very high percentage. 49% for the year uh, from three for Jeremy Grant. So we'd love to see that. That's incredible. Um, so looking for that to continue here, guys. I think Grant could have a big game from deep. I think we can honestly see him even get more attempts going forward. Obviously, with him absolutely dynamite from three, they're going to be looking to go his way more. So love it there for our number one pick. We're going Jeremy Grant over two and a half threes here for the Portland Trail Blazers, plus 128 odds here on Bet Rivers. Okay, and at number two, we are going with De'Aaron Fox over six and a half assists here for the Sacramento Kings, minus 130 odds here on DraftKings. So guys, Fox um, has been very good passing the basketball lately. I think that's definitely helping the Kings out. Um, they're being more efficient offensively. Fox has gone over, <coughs> excuse me, has gone over this line in his last four games with logs of 9, 8, 12, and 8. So finishing above the hook as well, which we'd love to see that. He's also averaging 13.8 potential assists per game over his last four games and averaging 12.6 12 potential assists per game for the year. So that's obviously terrific there for Fox. That's about that two to one ratio that we like to see for a potential assist. And he's even slightly above that over his last four, like I said there. Uh, this is an absolutely great matchup for Fox. We took this play for Damian Lillard versus the Spurs the other day. He finished with 11 assists, double what we needed in that one. Um, and here six and a half, I think is absolutely terrific here for Fox. Spurs here allowing the most assist in the NBA per game and the second most assist in the NBA to point guard. So. Um, Fox definitely fits the bill for being able to break it down off the dribble. Um, and the defense, you know, tends to overhelp and overextend. And I think that could set up, obviously, some easy passes here for Fox uh, to Sabonis um, and to the shooters on the outside for Sacramento. It's really a good situation for assists for Fox. Um, and obviously, Fox is always dangerous. He's always going to garner attention just because of who he is. He's a great player. Um, but like I said, he has also been more unselfish as well lately. So if you look at his shot attempts, he's averaging 16.2 shot attempts per game. Over his last five games, that's off his season average of 17.4. So we like to see that. He's looking for his teammates more, and it's really working out for him, right? Kings won four straight uh, with this process. So no reason Fox isn't going to be looking for his teammates and stuff like that. I think this is, again, going to be a great opportunity for him to go over. As far as the ladder play on Fox goes, I don't particularly... You know, I don't mind it. I, I didn't really eye the ladder too much on this because he's a little closer, you know, as far as with hitting. You know, he finished with eight twice. Um, I think he could definitely do something like that. Um, he did finish with nine assists in just 24 minutes versus the Nets the other day uh, because of the blow. He still got the nine, uh, which is impressive. But I do love it there for our number two pick. We're going to Aaron Fox, over six and a half assists here for the Sacramento Kings. Minus 130 odds here on DraftKings. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for our picks. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 7,000 subscribers. Guys, I'm still dealing with voice problems. Uh, hopefully, I wasn't too annoying today. I'm doing my best uh, to get this content out to you guys. I appreciate you guys. Hopefully, we can bounce back for some, from some unlucky stuff yesterday. Obviously, with the Clay Thompson stuff. I don't know, guys. Uh, that's just one of those things that happens in betting. It's one of those sad things that happens, but... Uh, our spread play did hit again, so hopefully we get it going uh, like we did last year with spreads. Uh, we're back to 500 with our spreads, so let's keep that rolling. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that I really love today. Blazers is probably my favorite one at minus two, but it just seemed a little fishy to me that the Blazers honestly weren't favored by more. Uh, but, you know, we'll see how it works out. I think the Blazers at home, though, 
uh, just pretty much a straight up win. I think is a good play. Um, I I'm not really seeing it from the Nets. You know what I mean? The Nets don't really. Nets just don't have that team cohesion. I think the Blazers obviously right now are a much better team. So appreciate you guys as always. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you all back here tomorrow. Peace out.